Esmeralda, I promise to respect and admire and appreciate you for who you are, as well as for the person you wish to become. I promise to be there for you when you need me, whenever you need me. I also promise to nurture your goals and ambitions and to support you through misfortune and celebrate your triumphs. I also promise to keep our lives exciting and adventurous and full of passion. I promise to show you every day that I know exactly how lucky I am to have you in my life. Jess, today I am so proud to call you my husband. You know me better than anyone else in this world and you still manage to love me. I promise to be patient, be a true and loyal friend. I will always love and care for you. I will dream with you, celebrate with you, and walk beside you through whatever our lives may bring. You are my person, my life, today, and always, I love you. Today we come here to witness the union of Jess and Esmeralda and we affirm their choice and what they mean to each other as partners in life. Theirs is a relationship that's already blessed with respect, with unwavering support and a true partnership. Esmeralda and Jess want to thank you. They have drawn from your friendship, your support, wisdom, inspiration, and they're so grateful for this opportunity to share this moment with you by your presence here today. Each one of you is being called upon to uphold them in their love for one another. Esmeralda, Jess appreciates how grounded you are how skilled you are at organizing and planning. And because of you, he's more motivated to take himself seriously, to set goals and achieve more for the betterment of you both. He respects you for your virtues, your morals, and how trustworthy you are. 
He loves how sweet and funny you are and how easily amused you can be at the simplest of things. And Jess Esmeralda respects you for the way you act well under pressure. And because of you, she feels safe and valued. And being with you, she's learning to be more patient and learning not to sweat the small stuff. She values you for how supportive you are, the way you take initiative in caring for your home together. And she loves the little quirks and jokes and names that you have for one another and that you're always laughing. So we stand here today before these majestic oak trees, which can serve as a symbol of strength and longevity and wisdom. And it is a thing of wonder that something as tiny as an acorn could find its heart and grow into a huge oak tree. So too with your love. From the simple beginnings of sharing together via email to this moment today, each step along the way has catalyzed many transformations in you, both individually and together. And it's one of life's greatest blessings and richest surprises when two souls meet and the resonance between them is so great that it calls them forward on a common path as husband and wife. So by the love that has brought you together, the vows you have exchanged, and through the integrity of your commitment in the presence of all these witnesses here, it is my pleasure and honor to pronounce that you are husband and wife as if you need my permission, Jess. You may kiss your bride. Everyone, please now join me in welcoming Mr. and Mrs. Jess and Esmeralda Rosenstein. As you've known Jess for almost five years now and you've gotten to know all the things that he does, so you probably know that the must-have is Wi-Fi for fantasy football. And he will yell at the TV screen at his favorite teams. Things you didn't know, or at least one thing that I thought of, is that he's very meticulous and gets things on his mind. He will go full-fledged. You need to watch out for him like machetes. He's been known to sharpen machetes and go cut the roses. He's done that in the past. But on a serious note, I wrote to you a long time ago and I told you how much you meant to Jess and the difference that I saw in Jess. I know that a lot of things were a little tough in his life and he found something with you. Thank you, Esmeralda, for bringing out the best in Jess. We love you, Jess. Out of all of us, Meta is the most organized, and in Jess's words, she is the most neurotic. <laughs> we have worked hard on trying to figure out what we would say at our best friend's wedding. Meta knows we are not the most organized, and we are the biggest procrastinators. We thought about telling embarrassing drunk stories, but then we realized we'd probably end up roasting ourselves. Past our party years, our friendship has continued to grow. We have stuck together through nursing programs, babies, and now weddings. Jess, I hope you can continue this friendship journey with us because we are not going anywhere. So cheers to overcoming the test of time and to lifelong friendships. Jess uh, in the family did a lot of stuff and throughout the years he found something golden and he held on to it and it's made him a better person. And they're gonna live a long time together and be happy and make many babies. 